Isotope Nectar 2 is made for vocals. In one interface, you have access to everything you need to get your vocal, narration, or dialogue track sounding its best. I love using Nectar 2 for all my vocal work, including the voiceovers, my videos. In fact, I'm using it right now. If I were to turn it off, then the voiceover doesn't sound as good. There's too much low end. It has a boxy sound from too much low mid buildup. Sibilance is a problem. You can hear every breath and it's just not as focused and clear. Let's turn Nectar 2 back on. There, that's much better. Nectar 2 comes with several presets for all kinds of different vocal categories. Choose one that's close and then you can tweak it for your exact needs. For the sound you are hearing now, I started with the intense movie trailer preset. Here's what that would sound like. In a world without Nectar 2, my voiceover sounds flat and dull. <laughs> Now, while this preset sounds okay for a movie trailer, it's not ideal for a video voiceover. Let's look at the tweaks I made to the intense movie trailer preset to give you an idea of what you can do in Nectar 2. First, I came to advanced and the EQ module and changed the filter type for the low end. You have plenty of types to choose from. What we want is a high pass to get rid of the low end rumble and then pull it down to around 70 to 80 hertz. Then we pull down the high end and add more nodes. Just double click to add one and pull out some of the low mids. Then a couple more tweaks to the EQ, and that should be perfect. I'll come back to advanced and turn on the gate to get rid of noise like breaths that fall below the threshold. I'll adjust the compressor settings and add some gain to compressor one. I'll turn on the de and adjust it. And of course you would be listening to your track while making these adjustments. And finally, I'll adjust the limiter. Awesome. The other modules are fine how they are, then you can save your preset and recall it whenever you need it. What I like to do here in Pro Tools 12 is add Nectar to my voice track, recall my preset, and I don't even have to listen to it because it's the same mic in the same position, same input gain, etc. I'll right click and commit the track, which runs it through our Nectar 2 settings. Then take that committed track and drop it right in Media Composer, and I'm ready to edit. Or I may edit the voice track in Pro Tools first, then consolidate if needed. In this case, we need to. Then commit the track. Once again, I can drop this track right into Media Composer and get to work. But Nectar 2 works in more than just Pro Tools. Since it's AAX, we could also use it directly in Media Composer. And since it's available as VST, we could use it in Bitwig or any other VST compatible DAW. It's become my go-to for all vocal work, but don't buy Nectar 2 on its own. You can get an even better price if you purchase the Isotope Music Production Bundle. With that, you don't just get Nectar 2, but you get the Nectar 2 Production Suite, as well as Ozone Advanced, Alloy, Trash, and Insight. So with access to all of those plugins, you will have all the tools you need for pretty much any mixing job, and you can get great results. If you want to check out Nectar 2 or get the free trial, just head over to isotope.com. If you're looking to buy Nectar 2 or the Isotope Music Production Bundle, I'd check audiodeluxe.com first. That's the place I always check first, and they usually have the best prices. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and go check out Isotope Nectar 2.